All right, yo, we are playing Ratchet and Clank going commando. We are on planet no talk. We got a bunch of progress done here. Make sure you guys tune into the stream Super Saiyan Paul on Twitch.tv, also on YouTube. I just came back from a lunch break, so we are trying to play through this game as much as possible in like one day sitting, so it might be noticeable if you guys are watching this on YouTube. Like I said, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Let's jump right into it. So, planet no talk. It's a little bit laggy. A little bit laggy, not gonna lie. Okay, this city has so much detail. This is the Monsters Inc. world. That always looked like the Monsters Inc. logo, but it's a little bit laggy, but it's okay. It'll smooth itself out as soon as we get indoors, so I'm not gonna be worried about that. If you guys have seen the previous parts, like, look at this. It moves super smooth once you're in certain spots. Um, like all these areas I pointed out, they're all at nighttime or dark times, but it just feels like such a bright game. Let's go through here. All right, there we go. It's already smoothed out. Blitz gun has. I love the way this this gun. It just shakes to the side. It shakes to the side and you look, you cock it back. Something about it just got some straight up authority. Some cart and authority. It's, it's, it's wild. For a second when they got shot, I thought it reached them all the way back there. Look at this body boy. Robots wearing dresses. Do you think robots would need to wear clothes? Technically, technically speaking, we're human beings. We're born without clothes, so we don't even really... We, we don't really even need them if you were born in a warm client, you know what I mean? But would robots need to adapt to that? Couldn't they just have a TV screen and change their outfit like that? Look at this. I look like I'm shooting Super Saiyan 2 static electricity out at everybody. And I remember the skill point for destroying this thing, but I don't have... I gotta destroy that last piece. I can't hit that shit. I see everybody, dude. Down to Earth's core. <laughs> Literally, as you say that. Boom, see your point. I didn't say I want to see everybody, dude. I'm just saying you're bored with that clothes. I never to fucking. Dr. The Ferris is his dick is hanging out. Yeah, I just go, dude. What up, Tay Coos? Tay Coos, Tay Coos. What are you employing? I'm not employing shit, mate. I'm not employing shit. Oh, blimey, mate. You put the words in my mouth, Rick. <laughs> this is nice and chill. A little bit of a pond. We got rocks shooting water out of its ass. What is this guy doing? He's just. Wow, in case you the war. He's the strong one. I, I, I just nefarious. Nefarious shows up in Ranch Clank 3 and he became a staple of the series. They just ran with him forever. Like, what happens to Drex double T in the morning voice? There he's. Hey! They look like some Abbey robots. Imagine a world where we're new to we don't care. Caveman times. I mean, there's beaches like that. I believe there's certain beaches in the Caribbean and shit like that where you literally everybody's walking around butt ass naked. Have I been to one of those? Nope. Alright, this area has a bit of a frame of issues. By the way, guys, I'm like emulating this on the PS3 emulator on the PC. That's why it should look a bit more crisp, but there's certain spots. This area so far is like by far the laggiest, but if you look at the previous episodes, everything else has been pretty smooth. It just takes like a second to balance out. This area has like some of the most destructible environments too. Oh, 
shit. They shoot each other in the body. They shoot each other in the body, boy. I'm gonna go for some sniper shots. Wait. Heard that. Just made the dodge it. Sniped him. Let's go for it. Look at these. Hey! Oh god. Headshot. Okay, this thing is making mad noise in the headset. If this was the case, we would have heart. Oh, the idiot thing coming. People still get mad at you for shooting the boxes. I don't know. We'll see in the comments. Remember this one from my guide. I love when Nefarious freezes up like he's in a tantrum. Good boy. Lawrence! Starting to see how much we take video editing for granted. As you make this DBC, DBS Broly AMV. Yo, I remember when I used to make AMVs back in the day. Way back in the day when I first learned to edit. That shit. The good AMVs be taking... Some of them be taking months. Like that Dragon Ball Legends video too. That took four years. That's not an AMV, but... Like fan projects, they, they take time. They take time. If it's not, especially if it's not on a budget, and it's not from like a professional studio, they take time. Like a motherfucker. There we go. Quick scope that shit twice. Rock into metal screw. Is there an Easter egg of Chairman Jack drowning in a pool of muck at a random magic like it? Really? And here we get a free nanotech. I think I dodged this in the OG playthrough just because. But that was the first time you grabbed one of these. I forgot what game that reminded me of. I think it was like Toy Story or some shit. But look at this city. It still looks amazing, even though it looks like a monster. It's ink. Factory, it literally looks like something straight out of a uh, Pixar game. 65k for the Synthenoids. Those motherfuckers look so badass. I think... Even though I just refilled all my ammo, I think what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna swap out the stars for the Heat Seeker gun, because I really like this gun, and it's gonna be... Say, METAL HEADERS! Alright, I'm gonna start using... I could snipe everything right now and just buy some more ammo. Let's see. Let's see how much EXP I get for this shit. Hold on. In the ass. In the ass. Look how much EXP I'm getting. In the ass. It just counts as kills. In the ass. It's so much EXP for the pulse rifle. Some frame rate issues, but it's okay. This area is probably the laggiest because of so much detail. Like, there's so many destructibles and details, but it's fine. It's still playable. Boom. And since we did it from right here, you can buy even more ammo. And they knew exactly what gun I wanted to use. This is why RC2, I love it. I love it. This is like where everything started to get more streamlined. Much, much more fluid. Let's just get our asses ever into the building. This way the log stops. Like, look how much detail is in this city. We're headed to the Ed, Ed Factory. Ed Boy Factory. The Egoro Factory. A six-minute AMV. That probably... I don't know, weeks. A oh, Broly AMV. I thought these were bolts for a second. Once again, the chill music, the vibe. I could get the level up right here. Let's use a secret girl. Damn, is it one shot kill? Two shot kill? Alright, smooths out in certain spots. When I look in that direction, it's smooth as hell. Look how smooth this game plays. It's just something over here. Oh, because there's so many assets it has to load in this direction. But it's whatever. It's, it's still playable, A eh? Fuck. That's the exit. It has to be. There's the ship. Alright, we're headed in here. You can't do this without the secret path. With the third phenomenominator. Third phenomenominator. Our dog is sleeping in my room and he's literally shaking the floor with his story.
The thermal masturbator. What the fuck? Yes. Zorbon approves. Zorbon does approve. Okay. Sounds like some pixie fairy shit. <laughs> Behold my SS2 nettle take abilities. Alright, I'm gonna launch it from back here. I love this gun for this reason. Let's see how far this goes. The range on this shit is even better than the sniper, bro. Oh my god, I wrecked that shit. I just want to play challenge mode just to get the big chunks of the bolts. They give you like thousands in one. That shit's so addicting. Trying not to get hit, you get times 20 multiplier. Just fat, fat cash stack. Where did he jump out of from? Like daisies. Shot. That dynamo activates that bolt up there. I'm going to go get that. I'll level this shit up right now. One. Oh shit. Two. Big boy, red boy shot. I think I used to. Oh my god, that shit was brawl like AF. I used to pair this up with the uh, the final armor, the Carbonox armor, and I used to pose around with this shit. Like, yes, look at my cosmetics. Before video game developers realized, yo, with the internet connections, we can just use. Microtransactions that they buy. You want to buy more gun skins? I think the first time I ever bought a gun skin was Borderlands 2 2012. That's when I was like, yo, I want my creative character to have like some of the cleanest looking weapon skins and cosmetics, and that was the first time they ever caught me. Then that shit just went crazy afterwards. But damn, this explosion shit is insane. I'm gonna get this bolt real quick. So you just have to spank the shit with the dynamo. Spank it. Vay Zach says this will be the best Ragic Lake ever, period. Wait, Holia says, what is that bot? Good bot. This is one of the best. I, I would say this is one of my favorite. Because this is my first game, so I have I blind nostalgia for it. That's why I like to see what everybody else has to say. This is a Christmas game for me. Christmas games hit so different. I had Budokai 3 on one of the Christmases. Jack and Dax on one of the Christmases. Really? What the fuck? I remember being able to zap the shit from up top. What is that about? Is that important Twitch comments? Yes, yes. All the chats are now connected. Twitch, YouTube, Discord. It's an ecosystem. I hope that shit don't close on me. Let's get it. Oh my god. Imagine they didn't put that dynamo in somebody had to play test that. Bomba oh god. Shot the boxes, so we go get tilted. Alright, I have my vaporizer. Is he gonna shoot me from there? He's getting closer. Oh my god. One shot kill, baby. One shot kill. Alright, Silva. Super Saiyan Paul, Bati Boy shit, featuring Amaranth. First of all, if Amaranth's in the video, it's the Bati Boy shit. I think Amaranth makes that shit straight. Oh, I got Ed Boy Productions. Psst. Got a ship that needs, uh, improvements? Worried about getting caught? At Slim Cognitos, your secret is safe. When I was a Gerber, this is what I thought everybody's Water drug dealer was like. Shielding. Or a new hyperspace module. We'll hook you up quickly, cheaply, and most important, quietly. So next time you're in the market for some uh, legally ambiguous refashioning, remember the name. Slim Cognitos. The only inspections we pass are yours. JD, you should have a Where's the name? Starship mods. Hmm. Well, a quick visit to Slim's wouldn't cost us much time. Or maybe we should check out that chemical factory. Mouse Someone inside it. might know where the thief was headed. 
Yeah. Let's buy some drugs. By the Kush. We're gonna fly our way down. A big part of your life. Thanks to the ratchet thing. What? Life was so much easier back then. Yes. Life was so much easier. And back then, like, one of the worst wishes I ever had as a kid, and, I, and probably some of you guys made the same exact wish, too. Wishing to be an adult. Like, why? Why did we do it? And yeah, certain things come with being an adult, but at the same time, like, when you had the carefree days, before the heartbreaks, before hills, where the fate of loss starts to hit you, these games are just, like, in its purest form. You were just getting lost in these virtual worlds where it was just, just bliss. We found a way to Monster Incorporated. And now we open the door. I love how you have to open this with a specifically big ass wrench. Otherwise, this place is completely locked off. Simpler times, yes, yes. Not the mayor. My boy Eric finds it. I'm back! You, when, I read, when I read that, it, it sounded to me. Yeah, anybody watch Joey's super cool food? Uh, world tour reviews. That's my boy. I'm back. I gotta, I gotta make a voice line on that. We gotta add them to the, we gotta add my boy to the um, to the voice mods on the stream deck. That's my boy. But show me super cool food to tour world reviews. Yeah, whatever his channel name. That guy's golden. Okay, have your heart broken and you didn't give it to no one. That was an IQ move. You had your sight when you were younger. Your sight too? Joey's World Tour. I can't believe you don't- Who doesn't know Joey's World Tour? He's goaded. Ever played TF2? The game- Nah, I never played it. I've used it for mods and stuff. Never played it, actually. I think Overwatch took its place in terms of being like a team game. It's Popeyes. ASMR reviews of this shit. <laughs> Something about watching Joey eat, eat food. It's- 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 it's mute. It's like- Poetry in motion. Beautiful. It makes me hungry as fuck. Like, I used to get my own KFC, and while watching Joey eat, I would eat right beside him on the TV, yo. <laughs> my ex used to ask me, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, yo, but it's Joey's World Tour, if it makes everything look so good. I am back! Overwatch is going. I love Overwatch. You play every night. Um, do people like mukbangs? I don't know if I, I barely watch mukbangs. I watch food reviews if it's just like one meal. I don't know about eating the, everything else because I watch Matt Stoney's videos. Damn, there's some serious frame rate issues in this area. If I look straight down, it's all fixed. But this area has so many moving parts that it's busting up my uh, emulator. Yeah, like I watch Matt Stoney eating a ton of food, but damn, I don't know how they all fit at all. And especially nowadays where I, I'm not as, can I head back up? No, I can't. I'm not as young as I used to be. So when I was younger, I used to have a super strong metabolism. Mine's not weak now, but it's, it's definitely faded. And now whenever I look at food like that, I'm like, damn, I wish I could still eat all that food. Like when I was younger, it used to it used to bother me that I couldn't eat food and put on weight. Because especially for lifting, it, it just you don't get that extra STR boost. But now it's like, damn, I wish I could eat all that food without putting on any weight. I must play video games with excited assistance. Same, bro. I think I, same. I'm wearing contacts all the times now, but back in the day, I didn't need glasses or nothing like that when I played this. Watching people eat food on a cut is a cheat code. Joy to the world, the wishy finger hole. Look at this Monsters Inc. factory. It's like the Scream Factory. He made my friends watch the Popeye ASMR review by Joey. What they say? Hey, my metabolism is like both bipolar, sometimes retaining weight, sometimes I don't retain knowledge. Other times I put weight faster than my Nabbit grass. You know, one of the weirdest things about that though, there's a lurker shark in here. Yeah, boy! 
I'll leave it down stick one. One of the things I learned from Death Note, I don't know if this is accurate, but my boy L said that you burn a lot of brain cells, like, or, I mean, not brain cells, a lot of, like, you burn calories just by thinking a lot. And I think there's some truth to that. Like, if you're in deep thought, I feel like, like, like you're in some serious thought, you'll end up burning calories just from every thought, like maybe five calories per thought or some shit like that. You know what I mean? And I feel like maybe low key, that's why some gamers like they stay skinny. Like when, me, when I used to play a lot more video games, I used to stay skinny just from just sitting in one place and eating garbage food. But I think it's because of all the, the brain activity more so than the physical activity. Are oh, you actually blind? No way. We have to cut this right there. I think 27, 24, 7 to, to, to my DID. Always in here, I have no choice but to think. You think that has any effect on calories? Burnt? When Death Note said that, I was like, huh. There might be some truth to this. Or any type of thinking, like if you have to do fast paced shit, like fast paced video games. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I heard you could lose calories by just playing games. That's what I think. And that's why I, I kind of came to that conclusion from watching Death Note 2. I was like, shit, if you're playing like fast paced video games, you were having to make these insanely fast decisions. Like if you're playing Call of Duty at a fast pace, you feel hungry as fuck after like a really intense game. And I'm, I have a feeling if you're playing in a game that intense, I think you gotta be burning a ton of calories just by like moving your your brain on like on the fastest ha hamster wheel available. You know what I mean? It literally turns into like a furnace. We lost three G's a week. I was eating fourteen hundred calories a day. I had to up those to seventeen hundred because I was way too fast. I hope this is good enough. Those lights look wonky. Please tell me this is good enough. I don't know if this is good enough. I'm about to butcher that. Let's go. Fuck. No, oh, there goes sharks. Oh boy, he's like, I ran to, I got to go this time. Bye, bye, my brothers. Bye, my bar. I hope my, this Ed boy doctor doesn't chop my bars off. You're going to the doctor. <laughs> don't tell me they're going to tickle your pickle and chop your bars off. This boy is built like Goku. Do you play fighters? Yo, fighters, fast paced. Fast paced games. I also think it's also the food you eat afterwards, too. Probably. Fuck. This game will forever be goaded. This game is just a classic. It was always been a classic, always will be. What was the question? I'd be scared as fuck to play Yu-Gi-Oh. But I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh is super fast paced unless you're playing like a... Damn. With like a timer, don't you think? Because Yu-Gi-Oh, you have to sit there and go, hmm. I activate my butter car. Yes. attack! This one's fucking with me. I feel like that's not good enough yet. It's, it's, there's a slight delay. I gotta stare straight down and just catch this. As a kid, this part sucked balls. Yeah, this part. Mega. Oh. You go, you do have a timer? You do? I still think, like, compared to Call of Duty, like, let's say if you're playing, like, an online shooter, it's gotta be Twitch reflexes. What the fuck? This shit. Yu-Gi-Oh! IRL. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! IRL in a long time, so you guys gonna have to describe that for me. It's been a minute. Fuck. People are in top and turn. Can I fly through here? No! Man, it's going to turn these holes. You go a twitch reflex. You can miss the timing, monsters effects, you can do things faster like that. 
Shadow says, this is the reason why I prefer Jack 3. This it had like three puzzles max. Yeah! Low key. I mean, I didn't mind these puzzles too much as a kid, but... This one is a... This one was always been the dickhead puzzle. This spot right here. Oh. Two lurker sharks on the other side, and if you miss up the timing from the, the distance... You can't even shoot from this distance. There's a little bit of lag fucking with me, too. Alright, as it sinks down, I'm just gonna... That's gotta be it. There's no fucking way. Me playing Mortal Kombat? Remember, that game, like, traumatized me as a kid. I was like, oh my god. Perhaps these robots can assist us. These little Gerber agents are doomed. Excuse me. Have you seen any masked weirdos? Probably thinking about himself there. I think I had better do the talking. He popped the lip, he don't. Why don't you ask me later? A masked customer picked up an order not long ago. Recently, they received a new transmission from him. Face and they are willing to show it to us for a small price. They run in my pockets too. Everybody run in my pockets. 6,000 bolts. <laughs> Owning a Rottweiler puppy be like. Oops. Better make that five containers and uh, four containers of liquid hydrogen. Cool. Uh, better add six crates of nitroglycerin and... Look, just give me double there, boy. And I need it delivered. I couldn't take this dude serious with that. I mean, you're not supposed to, but it's like, what the... Hey, what? What? <laughs> oh, 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 nothing. <laughs> just some robot humor. Okay, funny guy. Let's just head to those coordinates. Yeah, that was like... When he even showed him eating his head, I was like, what the? Vazak says, superhero is super goofy, but you have all four. Yeah, that's why I'm like trying to go in there with an open mind. I'm hoping that it's the same. Damn, this frame rate in this area was terrible. This is the worst area performance yet. Magic the Gathering? Never played that. I know what it is, but I never played it. Break salt packets at ninjas? Stay mad. Right, let's get out of this planet. This planet, I like the design and everything. Still super laggy. Alright. Slim Cognito Ship Shack. Let's check it out real quick. You've dominated people so badly they quit Yu-Gi-Oh. I remember Alex used to tell me his favorite play was the Yada Lock. That's all he kept talking about, the Yada Lock. Alright, so with the rare retainer, we can get an advanced shielding system. We can get high lift wings. A nuclear detonation device hyperspace warp system. Torpedo launcher. Fast lock missile launcher. Fuser and laser cannons. I need this one. I need this one. I need like eight pieces. Fuck that goddamn Yada Lock. What are you playing this on? I'm playing this on RPCS3. On the PC. I remember having being able to customize it should make it black and red. I'm gonna everything black and red in this game. I don't know why. Frozen base, Siberius. Finally we confront the thieves. I remember this was one of JD HD's moments right here. He was here early in the chat, but like this is one of the moments he popped off, and this is like one of the memories memories I have from like a couple of years ago. Playing Going Commando, like during January, December month. Black and red just looks good. Yeah, literally there's something about black and red in this game that I just kept gravitating towards. And up at Arsenal, because it was like an orange theme game, for some reason I like that green outfit the most though. The cover art. And right off the bat, you can tell this area's performing so much better than the last one. Less details to load in, which is perfect. Uh, I need these guns. I need these guns to get some level ups. God damn. I don't think I'll get that much XP for this. Let's 
Or just rebuy some seeker. We got ammo. I wish you could cut like I wish you could use your ship a custom paint job. That's what I was hoping for, but I was like, damn, they're already pushing it with the limitations of the PS2. Did you give everyone Project Ignis Link to play? Uh you give I didn't. No. Don't hit the stone as a skill point. Damn, my dog is throwing mad loud. I remember that one. Snowman Dan. Look, I'm getting trophies. I gotta see if you can sync up your uh trophies with, with this. Look at shape of the floor. There's a bolt. This is like probably one of the lightest areas so far with the snow and everything. Like, like slugs. It's actually a bright level. Who would have thought? All these areas have been super dark and super musty, but they've been so good. One of the few games that could pull it off. Most of the red, like up the Arsenal areas, I remember they have like this um this RNG wastelanded day of, day of time thing. The secret gun is is, is just going too. This gun, it's just cheats. It's hacks. Even when this thing is upgraded, triple the shots, bro. These guns are so fun. Get rid of the gadgets. Why do, why do I have gadgets in here? I should be using the swing shot. Like, especially even this shit. I want to upgrade all these guns because I'm going to need them later on. Let's see my messages. I haven't read... Oh, I haven't kept up with all my messages, bro. I've been... I just log into Instagram nowadays. And just log out. Because I've been trying to stay like a more in a positive mindset. What I started noticing is that if I watch too much stuff on social media... It'd be getting me kind of upset. Like when you see it, like most of the stuff, it, it's just there to like find something to be upset about that and Twitter. So for me, like I haven't been keeping up with the messages just for that reason. That's why I just rather be alive. Um, but I gotta keep, I gotta check up on it. Man, it's still going. The hype. Yes, my brother. You can ammo by him. You can return to the ship or you jump onto the giant truck. We're gonna jump into the white van because they have candy. Since you play Red Flick, are you also a fan of Jack and Daxter as well? Boy! Do you know? Yes! Yes, that is the that was literally the game that made me uh a YouTuber on this channel, really. Jack and Daxter is still my all-time fave, bro. Still my all-time fave. What's the last talk? I gotta catch up on the messages, my brother. Same for you, too much negativity kills my motivation to keep going. Exactly, yo, Vazax. The same thing. That's why, like, I've been taking breaks from social media because every time I log into it, there's always some bad news showing up. There's always something to be upset about. There's always something people are complaining about. I was like, bro, if you put down the phone, if you don't look at any of the messages, and you just wake up, live your life, like, without looking at social media, you'll wake, you wake up a lot happier. Like, these past couple of days, I've just been happy. I literally have just been happy. I just log in to, like, post a story, and then I log out. And then I'm like, that's literally about it. Like, I feel like social media nowadays, it's just a lot of depressing news comes out and um, it just gives you excuses to be unhappy when you can just wake up and be grateful for what you got in life today. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Everybody got their own way of handling it. For me, this is how I've been able to stay in more of a positive mindset. And it works for me. Not not everybody can do the same thing, but I wake up, watch some nostalgic let's plays, and then go gym. Yes, same. That's just the way. Me, same thing, bro. It's either just wake up, watch maybe some videos that are just positive, go to gym, and go my way. Good to see, you, bro. What up, Moss? Came up the channel. You did the last of us too. She was hilarious. Hey, we beat the shit out of him. And she's out. This train race is insane. Wait, Moss, you got recommended to watch the stream? Let's go! They finally recommended me? Did you like rediscover my channel? Or Welcome home, or were you already subscribed? 
Holy shit. I hope YouTube promotes me more. If I this is if this is the way, I'm gonna start streaming all day, every day like this. Recommendations for someone trying to lose weight. Um I said a bank heart repair for a torn labrum. Uh, what can I do to ease into working out? But walking eight miles a day but not getting much from it. I want to build back on my strength. I would say stick to body weight. Stick with body weight. 45 minutes a day. Um this way you don't risk the, the, the chance of like going over too heavy or anything that's too taxed for your joints. Stick with resistance bands and body weight. 45 minutes at least three times a week. And if you're trying to lose the weight, cut the calories down. So like, let's say whatever your body weight's at right now, the fastest way to lose it, really, to be honest, whatever your body weight's at, just multiply it by 10. And there you go. Just that's how many calories you got to eat for the day. Where's this proto pet bitch? Angela. Where are you, Angela? She's such an afterthought. Me bob. She's like a doodle bob. She's literally a me Mahama Baba. Oh shit, she got the lazy L. She has the lazy L. She flopped already. This is the goofiest train slash cart flipping thing ever. I was like, what is that? It literally stops, paws, and flips. I was like, that is the most unfluid shit I've ever seen. But as a kid, I was like, I just glossed over that shit. You got recommended your own Star Raptor video. Hey, you finally get recommended. Finally, finally. And that's also another reason why like, I stopped looking at social media as much. Just like literally, what you always tell me, Eric, like, don't slow down. I feel like when I, I look at social media nowadays and uh, I see any bad news, it starts to put, like, baggage into my mind. And then I do end up slowing down. So I was like, bro, this past week, I've just been on a break from it. Other than, like, live streaming, this has been, like, been my only form of communication with people. Just because it's just, like, for mental health. Return to ship. Why would you want to return to ship when you made it this far and you see a boss stage in front of you? You you run towards the boss fight. You run, run forward. Jonah says, yo, Paul, just rediscovered your channel. Love what you're doing. Been a fan since your first Jack and Dax. Let's play. Let's go, Jonah. How'd you rediscover it? I'll let your boy. Let's go. Yo, my, I can't believe it. How is everybody finding the channel again today? Let's go. Yes. Damn, she literally is about to launch the fuzzy into orbit. Take your imperialistic eco fascism to another dimension. Say goodbye to your frightening best. Come on, Frank. Too slow, you corporate lackey. Corporate lackey. I mean, you could even see that thing was evil in the cutscenes, but I don't think I realized that as a kid. I actually did view this as the big boss because I didn't really know Ratchet Clank games or who, what even Drek looked like because it's my second game. But I, I love when games like this talk about the corporations and shit like that. But remember, they're working for Sony. That's still a corporation. Even though they weren't as bad as some of the other ones out here, they still it's still corporations. Wrecked this heat seeker gun. It's satisfying seeing the enemies take the hit and the damage. You had us worried for a moment. Evil proto pet fuzzy. Do you suppose we should stop him? Not worth it. These cutscenes are kind of wonky in this area. Little guy back to Mr. Fizzwidget. Ratchet. But that's by design. Hey, is that you? We've accomplished our mission, sir. The experiment is safe and in our possession. <gasps> Why, that's cutaneous! Absolutely munificent! You two are a galopious team! We were glad to assist, sir. We just need coordinates to our These next words. rendezvous point. Of course. I'm on my way to give a tour of Megacorp's historical mining site. Here's a little pack talk on the fragility. Megacorp manufacturing and mining. <laughs> Did the voice have to make these arms or did they write this shit on paper, bro? Of progress. Come to our desert mining facility and see why our most precious product is history. When we first arrived, we found a planet completely overrun by rainforest. 
To better accommodate the local wildlife, we transformed this impassable jungle into an easily navigable desert. Ever the technological pioneer, Megacorp invented the management team. Oh my god. Eliminating costly upward mobility. Wow. And all the while making your life richer. Slave labor. Megacorp manufacturing and mining. Continues to the tune of progress and profitability. Call Investor Relations today. Is that facility still operational, sir? Alas, no, but it's steeped in hysterics. I've offloaded the condiments to your naval computer. We'll see you there. Weird thing with a hat. All these goober hats for Gleg. All right, boss, yo, thank you for coming through. The music is awesome. Hey, he there's up. Mr. Fizzwidget. What happened? Everything's fine. There was just a bit of debris on the landing pad. That was our ship. Don't worry about it, little fella. It's insured. So, do you have the uh, delivery? Why is this so sus? <laughs> First time buying the Navy Grass be like. There's precious little time. Sit back and relax, boys. How oh, about a little flying music? He played that off pretty well. He did that on purpose. Nah, he's just easily distracted. Yeah, well, well, just <laughs> did you? Come on, let's see if we can find a way out of here. Like, should have beat his ass. All right, so we're on the desert area. Megacorp still looks smoother to me, but at the same time, with, with all the shit they did here, they are unforgivable. The bouncer, this is going to be clutch for the final boss. The lava gun, I can almost buy that. The lava piss, the STD gun. <laughs> it burns when I pee. Ah! What's up, Bengals? You're having us do the other day. He's laughing so hard. Bro, the voice lines. The voice lines. This is literally all these voice lines you guys hear. My chat, my fam has made this shit. Now fuck the cards. Run my hands, bitch boy. You must steal all your Egyptian coochie nigga. Let me get a bacon egg and cheese dug by O. No cat bussin bussin. You monkeys will never understand the power I have. I call this rainbow freezer, but you can call me bugger freezer. It's time to unleash the bugger power. I have more bitches, yes indeed. My conscious. It's literally. Actually, I'm gonna launch this straight down the tunnel and add some more of these. I wanna level up this gun pretty badly because when you get this triple shot. What's the distance on this? I could probably do some of the wrench challenges too after this. The freezing one sounds so real. Maximum netto take increase. Let me go buy some more ammo. Don't be a Don't bitch. Be a Subscribe, bitch. Subscribe now. now. Don't step Don't to me step unless to you want the smoke. smoke. Tell me, is it slavery when you get what you want? A gift from the gods. Yo, that Simba emote looks too clean. This is literally the autopilot gun. I like some of these guns because they're just straight up autopilot. You just walk around, it's escorting me across the place. Literally, I feel like I'm walking around some like bullet bodyguards. It's shooting the floor now though. What the fuck? Alright, we're gonna just set this up for a battle. I'll let him take over. Out both my nuts. Damn, this shit expires so quick. Serious autopilot guns. This is dope, though. Dragon Ball Super is going to be at Comic Con. I figured it probably would be because if it's returning next year, but I haven't really been too interested in Comic Con for these past few years because of uh, all the lockdowns. Was it even. Was it even. Has it even been around for these past couple of years? Yo, Comic Con. 
I want to go back eventually, but definitely not this year. When the budget's right. <laughs> maybe next year. Maybe next year or the year after. Hopefully. That shit pricey as fuck. Everything that costs money. Chinese anime? Nah, I've never really- I don't think I've seen any Chinese anime. Dangua? It says, in case of emergency, break glass with rage. Whoa, that was a big ass lightning Hold strike on. outside. This one says, use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see if you break the glass with a solved it. This one had me shook it. Yo, there was some electricity outside that just sounded like Broly powering up. I don't know if y'all heard that. That shit sounded like coal just spawned in from Infamous. Scared the fuck out of me even with headphones on. Then I just checked the weather app. There's actually thunderstorms going on at this time. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you know, to be honest, legit, literally, it was like... It smells, it smells like, like bitch in here. Bitch in here. Not gonna lie. Sorry, Balma. Vegeta, Vegeta is too, is much, too of much of a deadbeat to pay child, child support. support. No way, you didn't hear that. No way. From the US, I think. Yo, I'm just gonna level up this here we go. This is so fun. It's so satisfying. It's like it has this little pullback. Satisfying animation against all these enemies that look... It's fresh. Got more enemies up here because fly. Literally auto aims itself. I'm gonna run back to that vendor real quick. Put it by a vendor. Do it also with this upgraded wrench. I never really paid too much attention to the wrenches when they're upgraded. Um, but with an upgraded wrench, I could probably take on more of these challenges. I don't know if there was one more. I think there was one more during the uh, the prison break area. I think right. Damn, how many shots to take? I don't feel like they're giving me too much XP for this. Maybe because they're from that spawn point thing. In that way, in that way, what the fuck? Uh, Xenoverse 2, maybe, maybe another time, not today. I think they came up with a new DLC or something, right? Alright, I'm just gonna take the hit. They hit me, they hit me, they hit me, they hit me, they hit me. I'm just gonna blindly assassinate them all with these discs. Oh my god, I'm probably missing every shot. Her whole outfit fall this up. Changes nothing. Where's the experiment? We have returned it to Mr. Fizz, which is. Oh, you've just put the whole galaxy in imminent danger. But but I don't have time to stand around explaining it to you. If you have any intention of fixing the mess you've made, watch this. Oh, Entire no. model change, right? These cutscenes are so wonky. Little Susie. Here are the Megacorp testing yeah, facilities. Seekers just we make it. sure the products you buy are safe for you and your family. These are just a few of the products we've rejected. Why is she so much bigger than Ratchet? You safe. The Tiny Tot Slingshot, the Nuclear Mousetrap, Self-Wedgifying Underwear, and the Lawn Ninjas. So the next time your toaster doesn't explode in your face, say a little thank you to the Megacorp testing facility. Wow, she's got a few bolts loose. What they does the testing hippie. facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should investigate that location. 
Well, we're gonna need a new ship. That's a nuclear mousetrap. Let it dobo. Oh, I like the music here. Our ship was nowhere near the area, but here's Mr. Oh. Oh. The universe, oh. that chakra crystals. Hello, <laughs> sir. Hey, I'm not even mocking it because I believe partially in it, but. Do not all things belong to the cosmos? Wow. Uh, no, that's definitely mine. This vessel suffers from wounded chai. Only the power of the crystals can hope to heal it. Crystals, sir? Crystals? Like those found in the desert? Beyond. Oh. Oh. Well, we don't have any better ideas. Let's go grab a few crystals. You need 10 chakra crystals to unlock the ship. I'm gonna save up all my money for the bouncer because that's gonna be the end game boss. I believe over here is the glider, but I don't have the glider. Continue port. Yeah, I'm not gonna go this way. I want my chakra crystals. Fresh bandicoot crystals. The flash of axe coming. We go my name and music. It feels so good to be able to go to an open area and just explore. Even though this is barren wasteland, it's just it felt good to have the option. You know what I mean? Damn, four hits on this bitch. That's only two. Ow. Blood screen TVs. Yeah, this used to be a level up spot. The excavators. Hey, it's not locking it. Okay, now it locks it. Yo, how's it do so much damage to that, that thing? The big bubba, but these little guys, these little shits are getting away with all this damage. I'm gonna probably use the mini turret on this. Wow, it's not even aiming for the big bubba, it's aiming for all the small fuckers. Oh, that speed up is insane, boy. Look at these big guys. Damn, there's like some flying lurker sharks, but they're such pushovers. The crash bandicoot crystals. The universe, the cosmos. The hitbox is that they buy your mini turret guns. The chopper, 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 the Let's go, DMA flying in with the bits. Appreciate you, fam. Got 11 shots of this. This mini turret's gonna take some time to level up. The chopper has almost got to this level up. Damn, those things are such easy things to kill. This mini turret ain't lasted too long. I don't know why. Wait, that should have been 10. There we go. Yeah, he's, he's got some low ass health here. I feel like a new game plus for challenge mode. He got way more. Let's see how much more of these chakra crystals are worth. I don't know that I missed this one right at the start, too, by the way. All right, that's a that's a quick ass little crystal mini game to go and repair our ship. None of this this area is really one of the most wonkiest plants because none of it really made too much sense. I actually think the secret gun's my current favorite. Yes. Currently my favorite for real for real. Man, it's like cold heart cash. Yes. The crystals are spiking the money with a single voice. Oh god. Oh. 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 Dark Dark attack. Attack. That was pretty impressive. Bring me more crystals, and I'll pay you cold hard bolts. Huh? Oh. That's how you it can works. Earn fast amounts of bolts by exploring the desert and finding crystals. More chakra crystals. One crystal for a thousand bolts. 
that we got 89 crystals for me to we play uh crack time i definitely want to go down that route like literally play through all the future ones because i haven't done it myself so if the demand's there we're going to definitely do it like i said guys if you see this on youtube super saint paul gaming smash that like button just smash 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 the testing facility on top explores said testing facility all right we shall head there we shall figure it out. Hey, see if you can find anything worth watching. Welcome Smash back. Smash it like the buggers. Yet a back for the embattled Captain Quark. The Galactic Court ordered him to pay six billion volts in damages to citizens suffering from personal hygienator syndrome. Oh my God! Only two days later. Quark was arrested trying to flee to Pokotaru. The bugger machine. The one-time hero, now full-time zero, was placed in custody awaiting trial. But the next day it was discovered that he had escaped, flushing himself to freedom. We will return to the hero oh, after these messages. <laughs> what a nut. I, I almost miss that guy sometimes. Almost. Got yeah, where I get it. Behind the hero. Planet Dobo. Planet Dobby. Base planet characters, the plumber. Look at this area. Looking like a toxic, toxic waste dump of a Monsters Inc. area and still looks beautiful. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode off right here. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Don't go anywhere live stream. I'm going to be right back. We're going to jump right into the next episode. YouTube fam, like I said, going to cut the episode right here. Support it as much as you guys can. It helps out tremendously. I'll see you guys in a bit, alright?